Now, Barack Obama claims the U.S. has firm evidence that the plane was shot down by a missile fired from an area controlled by anti-Kiev fighters. He also accuses Russia of supporting them. Gaine Chichikan followed the president's speech in Washington, D.C. President Obama said the missile was shot from the territory controlled by separatists in eastern Ukraine. He pointed at Russia, saying a group of rebels could not shoot down an airline without training and sophisticated equipment from Russia. Evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by a surface-to-air missile that was launched from an area that is controlled by Russian-backed separatists inside of Ukraine. Moreover, we know that these separatists have received a steady flow of support from Russia. This includes arms and training. It includes heavy weapons. And it includes anti-aircraft weapons. But having said this, he also added, we don't know exactly what happened. He called for an investigation by an international team, and that's something that all members of the UN Security Council are calling for, including Russia. But before any investigation has been carried out, the media, of course, are quick to pick up all kinds of speculations. Major TV channels here in the U.S. are running a tape that the Ukrainian mm -hmm. intelligence services provided. They say one part of the conversation uh, is between a rebel leader and a Russian intelligence officer, and the other part, a conversation between two men whom the Ukrainian intelligence identifies as Major and Greg. In that conversation, we hear one man describing to another in an apparent shock that a passenger plane has crashed. There's no way to, uh, to verify who this major is or who Grek is, other than to take Kiev's word for it. There are also questions as to how these two different conversations are linked, questions whether the timing that the Ukrainian intelligence provided is correct, whether these men on tape are who Kiev claims they are. Kiev is in no way an impartial party in this conflict. RT's video service, Roughly, has traveled to the place mentioned in the video that the Ukrainian intelligence service provided very shortly after the video surfaced, and the place where Kiev says the missile was launched from. And they found no traces of any military activity. But the blame game is also about who created the situation for this tragedy to happen. U.S. officials put all responsibility on Russia because they say it has supported the rebels. Russia, on its part, says Kiev is responsible because it launched this military operation in eastern Ukraine. We heard the Russian envoy to the U.N. speak. He said the U.S. supported Kiev's military operation and is therefore also part, partly responsible. Uh, at this point, we have this bitter, vicious back and forth between everyone involved and not involved.